What's going on, everybody? This is Darian. Today, we're going to dive into the app that's exclusively for the iPad Pro or the iPad in general. It's an iOS app. Uh, they do have a pocket version for your phone, but it's probably trash compared to what we're talking about today. Some of you may just want to join along and watch, and some of you are going to join along and draw. And I am no great artist at all. Nope. I have drawn some things that have been paid for, but I would not consider myself uh, to the same talent or level as a lot of those that we see online in the community of art. Um, <clears throat> I'm inspired by a lot of those people. However, I suck. Uh, this drawing you see in the background on my iPad, I did draw in the app Procreate. Uh, you will kind of see it real fast. But first things first, let's go ahead and open up the app Procreate. I believe the current version is uh, 5.29, 5.2.9. Yeah, so there it is right here. I delete all of my initial stuff. Uh, that's just me. But let's just talk about some of the things. So these are the, this is my stuff, right? So earlier I was just, you know, really, really sucking. Like I said, that's the title of this video, Sucking at Procreate. And there's a reason I don't color my images. I used to be really great at drawing, I'm sorry, coloring books when I was a child. But now I can't color to save my life. Nope. For whatever reason, I just can't do it, and that's fine. I need to get back to the drawing board, take another class, watch some more videos as you're watching mine. So uh, this is what I was doing earlier, not her. This. I was just doodling some uh, this person from a sketch, like sketching this person from a reference image I saw. Um, so let me go ahead and open it up specifically. And one of the biggest things I know is when you actually do that is when you flip horizontal if it still looks like it could be a decent image is when you know you have a lot of your perspectives down and stuff like that um if it looks like trash from one angle then yeah that's not gonna go well for you um wow did you see that what the heck was i doing with this don't know uh this guy right here looked cool until i decided to color him all right well i, th I thought he looked okay and then i was like let me put some color on this dude um, so yeah, we're going to get out of that. I love drawing animals. As you can see, a lot of animals on here. Um, I do love portraits as well. I used to do a lot of anatomy studies and things like that. I don't do them as much now. Um, this is some of the commission work I've done. I drew this for somebody and that's my handwriting that they wanted. Uh, these were tedious to do, but either way. So let's go ahead and open up a new app layer or a new document, if you will. Now I have mine laid out right here. I do my own YouTube thumbnails is what you see down here uh, on the very bottom left of my screen. It says, why don't you re-enlist? It's for my other YouTube channel. Um, but let me just go ahead and show you what I do. So I like to do the high res, right? This one or this one, nothing wrong with it. So this digital one above it, I could probably use it, but I'm going to go ahead and just slide to the left and edit it. I'm not going to edit it, but I want you to see what I'm using. So I have an 8x10 as far as my width and height. No different than a 16x20, which is where I get the largest of my prints, typically in that range. I don't do very many prints larger than that. And so I want the highest resolution. So DPI, dots per inch, in one square inch, that's exactly how many dots are in one square inch. So just think about that. I have a maximum layers of 89. So once you take, let's say I take 10 layers and merge them all into one layer, now I still have 88 more layers to go. Uh, my color profile is going to be RGB, reds, greens, and blues. Uh, then you have CMKY, cyan, magenta, yellow, and I think just black or forgot the other one. Or it's like a, some other, I don't know, who, who knows, right? Time-lapse mode, I will have it on 4K. I want the highest time-lapse mode just because I like to actually sit back and see my stuff. Dimensions, already talked about, color profile, time-lapse, canvas properties. So my background color, if you could see right here, I don't want it to be black and I don't want it to be the other extreme of white. I want it to be somewhere in the middle, in the grays. Now, if you don't want it in the blues, which is where you can get most of your grays, you can keep it in... Uh, the browns, where it kind of gets that um, sepia tone 
or something like that, you can see it change colors around a lot. I tend to like the gray, personally. But there's nothing wrong with going into like the brownish version of that. So we'll go ahead and leave it in this brown version right now. I'll just go ahead and save that. So I'm going to open up this 8x10 digital. And now as you can see, my background is that brown. If you don't like it, you can just hit background color and change it to whatever you want. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and back that off and leave it here. The brush I will be using today is going to be in the calligraphy, right? Chalk. This is a standard brush a lot of people use and or heavily modify. Um, you can use any brush. Matter of fact, in the sketching, I have one that's called Line Detail. It's essentially the same sort of brush. It's made of the same stuff, but I actually just prefer it. As you can see, I can get light and then keep going over it and get darker. So I like that one. Um, even Peppermint from Procreate. Uh, my opacity stays within the 70 to 80 some range. My brush size is going to be a lot higher just for me. Same thing. I can kind of keep going over this and darken it in the area. It automatically is on a new layer. I don't want that. I'll delete it. Now, as far as reference images or things to give you an idea, you can do a few things. You can open up a photos library and go to like, I have Pinterest. These are things I liked on Pinterest or saved from Pinterest to learn how to draw. You might notice some of these specifically, like as a matter of fact, like this eagle, right? If I like this eagle, I can draw this eagle or, or sketch it, doodle it from the side and, and have all of this canvas right here. But you know, from, from this whole point, I have three quarters of my screen where I'm able to draw. Some people don't like that, and instead, and remember, I can still zoom in at any point here and, and kind of move without messing with my Procreate spot. Or some may want their entire view open. You can hit settings, and down here, you can hit reference. And then I can go to image, import an image, and same thing. I will go down here, hit my Pinterest, and... I will find the same eagle. And now at this point, I can move it anywhere I want. So if I want it over here, I can, and I can draw on this side or vice versa, um, leave it here and still draw roughly within the same amount. Um, I can make it as big as that and as small as this. So you can kind of do what you want with it. And yes, you can zoom in and out within it. Some like this as well because they still have access to all their menus just the same. Same with this right here. So to each his own. I personally like the other way better, but for now we will go ahead and just use this one. So I suck at Procreate. I suck at art. Everyone sucks and then everyone's great. So I'm going to use this, uh, what am I using, peppermint? Cool. I'm going to use peppermint. I was going to use chalk, but I'll just go with peppermint. This is how I start a drawing. It may look nothing like this, and that's fine. But this is for us who are not great. We don't have a bunch of subscribers. We don't have any subscribers. You just really enjoy art. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with a big oval uh, to pretty much shape the head of this, um, this eagle. So you're going to hear a lot of my hand, you know, just drifting over the paper. And that's fine with me right there. That's fine. Um, and then looking at the beak, I'm just I'm, I'm going to get in here real rough. Like I'm not trying to draw the eagle. I'm actually just feeling the shapes or the lines in this eagle's um, being. Right. And I learned a lot of this stuff from Aaron Blaze. Now, Aaron Blaze is one of my favorite artists. Um, he is the creator for a lot of what we grew up on in the 90s. A Disney animator. He animated Nala from The Lion King. Uh, I think he even produced and directed Brother Bear or something like that. And go to my eraser, hit that again. Now for this eyeball, this eye is directly to me over like the center of what this part would be on the actual eagle. And so what I'm going to do, and it's below this part, 
of the nose on the beak. So what I'm going to do is, is kind of just come in here, not with a circle, but more with like an elongated, you know, let's kind of get in there a little bit. Nope. Something like that. Nope. I'm going to do it again. Something similar to that, right? Similar, not the exact same thing, something similar. Now for the bottom of the beak, it kind of comes up into a C, then it comes out again, and it comes down. So remember, like I was saying, Aaron Blaze, I learned a lot from him. He gets in there super loose, right? He's got scratch marks everywhere, right? And I tend to know I like to scribble, and that gives me all the advantages of just feeling the shape of what I'm looking for or looking at. And looking at this head from beak to the back of the fur, or <coughs> fur, feathers, the eye is somewhat in the middle. And if I had to guess, if the eye was in the middle of my page right now, and the beak is where it's at, then from here, roughly, is where the back of, you know, the eagle should come to. So I can put that little light mark over here and just kind of do something like, you know, um, let's just kind of come down with it over here. Now underneath the, well, let's just go ahead and kind of put in some of those. This is how I have fun with Procreate. I'm not what you would consider a professional artist. I'm not considered a professional artist to myself. However, I enjoy having fun with this app. It made drawing fun for me again. Um, I think digital art, the fact that I can just hit back, 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 or forward, 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 is absolutely amazing. Let's kind of get into... Um, this part of the eye. Now, yes, I could zoom in on this as well, but I tend to like to stay zoomed out. Now, my reference image is just a reference. It is not a slave image. You will not have to try and draw the exact same thing. You will almost never have fun doing that. That's what photocopies are for. If I wanted to copy the exact same thing, I will just literally print it out on a copy. Um, now, this is where I try and get into um, some, not detail, but some still parts of the image to make it kind of look like what I'm trying to get it to look like. So let's say I get into that. I notice the eyeball is a little bit more like this. To me, it's already looking more bird-like than anything else. Uh, at one point, everything I drew looked like some sort of a cat because I was on this lion kick. Everything I was doing, was, I, I couldn't help shake trying to draw lions of some sort, right? You give me a tiger and I'll, it'll look like a lion, right? Or a tiger with a mane. And I don't know why, but I couldn't, I just couldn't stop it. So now getting into this part of the beak, I normally would just draw like a weird oval like that and then kind of go from there. Um, you could do that. And at some point, for sure, Definitely don't be afraid, whoa, too big. Don't be afraid to erase your guidelines if you need them or if they're in your way, if they're distracting you, if you don't, if you can't tell what's rough or what's supposed to be a clean part or whatever, then go ahead and get rid of it. I tend to just leave them um, unless they are distracting me as that one just was. So this line right here is more of an S shape, right? It's more of a... Something like that. So I'll, I'll kind of just leave it. But uh, let's say I want to do something like that. And I know there's there's like cracks throughout the nose. And it gets even bigger. Then it gets smaller again. Now, once again, I'm looking at the reference. But I'm not staring at the reference, right? And if that's my little eagle uh, snout, then, then fine. Now, I know it also has a ridge line. 
kind of going into it. So let me kind of just do that alone. This is where you kind of get into the layers of the beak. And remember, I don't have that, right? So my eagle has like a sharp point right now. And they do have that, but let's just kind of kind of get in here. I know this eagle's mouth is not exactly like straight the way we uh, may assume it may be. These would be the lips on a bird if birds had lips. And then they have this little like butt thing. <laughs> this bird has some sort of butt thing going on right now. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so just below this part of the uh, the nostril, you start, and then to the right of the nostril, you're starting to see this extra little ridge or break in the the lower beak, lower part of the beak, come out, and then it just it just like this part right here just fades away, and uh, then of course it goes down this way somewhere. Let's go ahead and, now I have my eyeball. Let's kind of make a little bit of a, uh, a weird little iris. And even within the iris, there's still parts of this that, you know, will uh, kind of kind of get into that. So this is me just drawing, right? This is how I have fun with it. Now, of course, you know, a lot of people are thinking, oh, man, let me try and draw this eagle. I don't try to draw the eagle. I draw a bunch, bunch of shapes and little things that turn into an eagle or hopefully some sort of raptor uh, like creature. Like all these weird little shapes are, are obviously too many of the same thing. But because of uh, the nature of this video of what I'm trying to do, it's just to get you to see something. This is not a... Uh, this is nothing I would do for my own self. Um, looking at the reference again, it looks like there's going to be right around here. There is a big C that kind of follows like a, like a reverse C. All right. And then some very prominent feathers. I don't know what these feathers are for. I mean, they're all for some sort of flight, but I don't know if these are like predominantly like a flight feather or something like that don't know don't really care right now i'm just having fun scratching away some of these v's and a's uh this part right here that you saw me draw this right here is for the actual um shadow area just so i know it doesn't mean that i won't get in here and try and draw uh predominantly you know more feathers or anything like that like I won't draw them they'll just be in shadow or or something similar so I'm literally just scratching away some sort of a whatever you want to call this I have no clue what I'm talking about now go ahead subscribe if you want to see more if you want to see more of this stuff for the guy who sucks at procreate just like you if, I, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you suck like I do, and we're just sucking together, and we're sharing how bad we suck on social media and different platforms like YouTube. So uh, in here, yeah, these feathers would be more the smaller, uh, really, really small ones, right? And then, of course, they, they do come up, right? They're not all just, you know, the same thing. It's not like they just don't get cut off at all so this is where you can add more layers right if you want to if you will um, underneath that let's go ahead and just add our own little texture underneath the eye we'll put some sort of a uh, little balls or ridges and
For some reason, that's not making any marks. Okay, there we go. Procreate has been doing that in a while. I believe, like I said, we're in the 5.2.9. That's just, There should be a 5.3 version coming out soon. Um, obviously not soon enough. This has lots of lag in it. Like, more lag than I've seen in a while. And kind of getting into some more of this stuff over here. Let's... uh. Just have fun with it. If you're not having fun with your art, what are you doing? Right? What are you doing? So instead of doing like this whole iris that you see here, some people will just do something weird and then do whatever they want with it. And that's fine. I recommend staying away from that initially just to try and keep yourself like the one who I made all of the, the physical scratches and in lines so far what do you guys think does it look something like an eagle i hope so and uh it looks like a really crappy eagle right i see all the comments people say i can't even draw a line i can't even draw this i can't draw that and i'm like of course because you're, you're not drawing you're watching you're typing so that's why i would say while you're typing all of your self-hate pick up your ipad pencil Apple Pencil, I should say, use it on your iPad, and go ahead and follow along, or try and do the same same sorts of things that I'm doing. Remember, we both suck together. I will never sit here and tell you, yeah, I'm really great at this stuff, because I'm not. I'm just having much more fun than you are, and that's probably the only reason why I'm just enjoying it a little bit better. So, <clears throat> dang. <laughs> oh. I'm going to go ahead and kind of just kind of color that one in a little bit. Let's go ahead and shade around. And you can shade. So the pencil itself, if you actually tilt it, you can kind of get in here and shade. You don't have to make a really hard line, as you can see me do. That's one thing I love about this uh, app and utilizing this stylus specifically is the tilt feature. It works amazingly to me, like absolutely amazing. Uh, it's probably not even a word, but either way. And then I notice around here. So, so far I can tell you right now, my pupil is too big, but that's all right. We're going to run with it. And in that pupil, I can tell like something like this. This is all dark to me. Like all of it is dark. And then it, it slowly starts to fade out. So you can use the smudge tool if you like right, and kind of smudge down if you want to do something like that. Um, awesome. Go back to there. Underneath this little, if this is an eyeball, not eyeball, a uh, like an eyelid thing. I'm going to keep going over it again. This is why my opacity is not super high. I don't want the very first stroke to come out to be just super dark, and I'm committed to that. Um, it is still very much dark in this area. And in the back, somewhere in this area as well. And if it's not... Oh, well, uh, with that, since I'm drawing the blue, I'm going to go to like a white over here. And you see this part of the iris. There is a big like shape. Now I can just go ahead and add a new layer on top and do something similar to this. And, and kind of <clears throat> just put that in there if I want to. And now if I want to move it around. 
I'll go ahead and hit my plus, make it maybe smaller. I'll go to freeform and make it a little longer. You know what I mean? Like let it cover that. Probably come up a little bit. And then with the brush, I got the soft brush. Whoops. Um, so this is my brush size over here. Let me go ahead and lower that. Let me kind of come in here with that and make the edges not as sharp as if I literally just drew it on there. I want them to be a little bit softer. So this is how I want to make that reflection in the eye. Um, also, let's go back to the blue I was just drawing with. And let's just make our own little, like, you know, pupil marks. Oh, well, that doesn't look like an eagle. But it looks like an eagle for somebody who sucks at this. So, uh, and then on the bottom of it, you can definitely see there's a dark line underneath the eye, like the eyeball, like around here. that kind of lets the rest of the eye pop onto like the lower slash upper eyelid. Something like that. Um, so yeah, that's that. Now there's some white feathers above it. That was just something that I noticed. I'm not even looking at the reference right now. You don't need to. Try and follow a pattern if you can. Um, speaking of patterns, if you can see right here in the reference image at the end, right? So like the, the, the feathers do come up from here and then they start to come down here and they kind of merge into this point right around here. So um, do that, try and blend in and, and then looking at the pattern of, of like the eye, right? If everything is kind of doing this swooping motion, add your feathers to that same rhythm if you can. Um, right around here, same sort of thing. You come in here, you're gonna wanna make sure most of all your uh, lines are gonna wanna kinda come from that same starting point right here and either come up or come down from these areas, All right? So hopefully it'll start to look something like what we're trying to attempt to draw. And this isn't even a drawing, this is more of a sketch, right? A drawing, I would do a lot more, um, I would have more fun with this. I would be just as loose and rough as I am right now. Right, like a lot more loose, a lot more rough. Or I'm sorry, just as loose and just as rough. I wouldn't be any different than how I'm actually still trying to uh, attempt to draw this eagle. Um, so that's me for that. Now, of course, I know this eagle has some different, um, it's kind of moving from that part to this. Coming in here and understanding that, let me kind of just do these. Let me just act as if this is, um, and am I still on that same layer? Oh my God, I make that mistake all the time. Look at that. That's all on the same layer now. And that's without it. This is with it. So now these are both one layer and that's fine. So that's fine, whatever. I'm gonna now pick a new layer and tilting this thing sideways, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of color this part in Right now, what I'm gonna do is take the smudge tool and kind of go go with it. I don't want it to be super harsh, like against what I'm doing. Whoa.
Um, da, da, da. These lines are harsh. So what I would do is go back to that line now and just kind of delete them. Really, really rough or really light, I should say. Come back to my layer right here. Smudge tool again. Kind of going back and forth, doing whatever artistically makes sense to you. There is no one way to do it. This is the only way to do it. Like the way that you did it is the way you should have done it. I'm going to go to white, same layer, and I'm going to go ahead and just add some sort of highlight onto it. I know there's some whites in this area coming down as well. Like down in here, there's some white on the upper ridge of the lower beak. You know, things like that. Let me go ahead and try and soft, soften that up. Now there's nothing underneath this at all. Let me go back to that. I don't even know how long I've been scratching away at this bird, but uh, hopefully you guys have been scratching away at it too, yourself. Um, so far, what do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Are you gonna start drawing on Procreate a little bit more? You can probably hear my hands a little heavier now. Um, And you can still see this big circle part that I used initially. Um, you, I mean, feel free to get rid of that, right? Like I said, get rid of your guidelines if you need to, or keep some of them there as a part of the rhythm to know what things do what. If something is to wrap around a certain part of the head or, uh, or a part of the body, you may have actually helped yourself or you may have hindered yourself. But what do I what am I telling you? You guys already know this because we all suck together. Right? And uh It's really hard to get me to stand still. I see one thing that I feel it needs some attention at that moment and I just kind of squirrel, right? And just run straight to it. And Beep bop, beep bop. There is some fur. God dang, feathers kind of coming off of this part of the beak. You can get in here, like on the reference image, you'll see some of the little, some random things that kind of give it that resemblance of like feathers. Still at least to me. And that is one of many ways to kind of draw, right? Now this obviously is not the same thing at all. Um, using the, the blue that I'm using right now, which is this color right here, in the beak, I would still kind of get into some of that, right? If I wanted it to be lighter in here and start getting into the, uh, the beak, mainly because it's more of a gray scale, even though I'm doing this blue. That way it just distinguishes a difference in color. That's what I would do. Um, so yeah, let's open up another layer. Let's go ahead and let's merge that as well. New layer, this right here, this check mark, obviously if you can't tell, I don't want to see it. So instead of doing this reference image here, um, we'll go ahead and turn that off. So now we have the entire screen to ourselves. So now I want to just draw straight from Pro, uh, not Procreate, from Pinterest. So I have a lot of images on Pinterest that I saved uh, uh, like to my actual iPad. Now I'm going to do the three quarter on the right, quarter on the left. Oh, what was that? You can see a lot of what I look for, portraits, black and whites, animals. So there's a bird right here. There's a barn owl of some sort. There's a hyena looking pretty pissed off with all the flies around it. And it's wet. 
Dang. Um, let's look up fitness. What the heck? Um, I just did an eagle head. Let's try and just do some like male portraits. All right, most people do female portraits. I'm one of them, hundred percent one of them. I don't know why it's just more fun to stare at something you, you would rather stare at than something you wouldn't. Let's draw this dude. Now there are many ways to draw this person. Um, I'm not going to draw him uh, anatomically correct. I'm going to do this fairly quick. I will probably draw him two different ways, just so you can kind of see uh, ways I do it. So I could start with like somewhat of a Loomis method, where I kind of have a just a round ball, right? Actually, this isn't even going to be the the Loomis method. I'm just going to do the the Darien method, which is feeling what I'm drawing. So I can see right here. Um, the rhythms of his face are different. So his eye line is very predominantly, you know, kind of straight to me. Um, his nose, I would say also kind of straight in his mouth. I'm gonna kind of go in here and do this weird diamond shape looking, like a soft diamond shape. And for the nose, the tip of his nose, uh, I'm just gonna do this little oval now it's wider than most people's nose. Now remember, I'm not going to try and draw him. I'm not even looking at him as much. I'm just utilizing him as a reference for me. And then I'll draw it again in a different, completely different style. And you're gonna see a completely different image. Um, and sometimes I like to just cartoon people, right? And if you guys were like, hey, man, that doesn't look like him. Remember, I suck, and you suck for watching me. Ooh. I highly recommend anybody who's very serious into, uh, I'm going to say photography, um, art is getting your own, like, you will develop your own style, 100%, but until you do, you're going to be a very big, like, copy artist, and that's fine, right, as long as you're having fun with it at first, your own style will develop over time, I don't even have my own style, like, completely, uh, like set out yet, but I can tell I'm already starting to develop my own style. Damn, this nose is big. <laughs> so are those lips. Holy smokes. Now remember, like I said, I'm not trying to measure anything at all. I'm just having fun with this guy's face. I know he's probably not having fun with this. Can you imagine if I was one of those street artists? I'm like, yo, bro, I'm, I'm about to draw you looking super pissed. Super pissed. Who is your favorite artist? Put it down in the comment section below. Digital artists. Who's your favorite digital artist? Put that down in the comment section below. If it's your mom, if it's your dad, if it's yourself, put it down in the comment section below, please. Oh, bro, this looks nothing like homie. Nope. Let's go ahead and uh, change the size of the lips. It doesn't look anything like him, but I still like just having fun with it. And so let's just stop right here. I see his uh, chin isn't too much difference in height. If you look at the top of his top lip to the bottom of his bottom lip and then double that, it's about the same size as, you know, where his chin would stop. 
So let's just say I did something similar to that and I put in this oval. That's where I say I want the bottom of his chin to be at. Now using different um, rhythms of the face and stuff like that, I would kind of just come down here. Um, he's got a very strong cheek line right here that, you know, kind of kind of comes out. And then that jawline is going to come, you know, something like that. Now, once again, not this dude anymore. Stop being him as soon as I touch the dang canvas. But uh, <laughs> just my reference for him. Now, I do something that a lot of people do initially, and that's you draw the eyes way too big, like way too big, guilty. I don't know what it is about big ass eyes, but I like drawing big eyes. So let's say I drew the eye and put it here. They were starting to look way too big for me. I like that eye. Now they are they are more apart uh, than I would like. The nose is definitely bigger than I like, but I, I kind of like the features I'm going with. Um, so I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. <laughs> and remember, like I said, this looks nothing like this dude, and I'm not even tr trying to draw him directly. I am just mainly seeing like what can I do. Um, with this reference image. Cool, 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 cool. This dude looks pissed. Not the real guy, the guy I'm drawing. He looks upset. I want to look like the reference image, bro. Well, you don't, homie, so get over yourself. <laughs> I am very happy to be here. Where do you guys get your reference images from? Procreate. I mean, not Procreate, when you're drawing in Procreate or even Art Studio Pro, a whole different app that I have. And stuff like that. Let's go ahead and kind of make this eyeball a little bit darker. Yeah, homie looks upset. Those eyes are too set apart for me. Then again, who cares? Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, and just flip it horizontal again. And doing that <coughs> right here, this is not the way I drew them. I could already tell I don't like that eye. And so this is something that I will either mess with the eye, maybe have to stretch it out, maybe have to rotate it somewhere or physically move it and closer or not, let's see. I could probably live with that. So let's see how it looks when I flip it back. I could live with that for now. And that's just what I'm gonna do for this dude. Let's take him off, let's draw the same reference again, a little bit different, a different style completely. So I'm gonna see, actually, nope, starting different. I'm going to do like a really quick rough, right? If I was to try and draw something like this.
Oof. I'm not even talking. I'm I'm so shocked at what the heck I'm even doing right now. I shouldn't even post this. <laughs> but I'm going to. Because we're just having fun together. Right, peeps? So, remember... That is the point. That is the game. The game is to have fun. If you aren't having fun, then what are you even doing? If you're not having fun, what are you even doing? Let's see, let's see. There's somebody talking outside my room about absolutely nothing right now. Let me see if I can just put little dots. I would put little dots as you can see I'm doing right now. And that would just help me kind of figure out where I wanted the eye to be. Or something like that. Um, this upper part of the eyelid. Right, and then you can clearly see there is definitely a break. Like, it's got a very protruding, like, whatever this is part is called. Like a frown line. Whew. Dang, he looks even more angry on this uh, drawing I'm doing. I think than the last one did. <laughs> Hello. All right, guys. What do you think so far? Which one of these so far do you like better? I'll compare them when I'm done. But right now, which one do you like better? The first one or the second one? Let me know. Damn, what the hell am I doing with these lips? I have no clue what I'm doing with these dudes' lips. What I'm trying to draw. this one let the iPad rest for a little bit you know what I mean let my brain rest good lord I got so much stuff going on over here I can't tell what's what anymore I'm starting to not take my own advice I'm looking at stuff and just just scratching lines all over this thing And uh, let me know for all of you guys out there who have taken a, a, a formal art class. Formal or informal. I'm actually very curious to both. And uh, remember, like, 
I'm asking you that because if you're watching this video, you probably suck just like I do. So that's why I'm kind of curious. Like, did you like, hey, man, that art class I paid for was just like not worth it because I still suck. Right. Or or whatever it may be. And. Yeah, I'm very curious to hear what you guys might have to say or not say. Let's see, let's flip it horizontal. Ooh, damn. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing with this guy right now. I don't think this dude even knows what I'm doing with him right now. So yeah. What's your approach when it comes to drawing? Do you start with the nose? I remember there was a couple drawings I could only start with the nose for like the longest time. I could only start with the nose of somebody. It didn't matter what it was, it was a nose. And I thought that was so weird. And at the same time, that's what can make you, you. That could be your style, right? Because someone else will say, start with the head shape, start with the Loomis method, start with the Riley method, start with the Blop method, start with blah, 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 right? Fill in the blank, it'll keep going. And then you're like, nope, I'm starting with the nose. And if that's you, then good for you. Do what you got to do um, to get to get what you need out. As long as you are having fun with it, like I've said before, that's all that matters. Have fun. Have fun and then have some more fun. Right, and then get in there, darken the eye, if you will. I'm about to compare these two little blokes next to each other. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit of that little that white there. And that white there. So let's go ahead and view one. Let's put it up over here. Oh, dang. These dude, this dude looks full African right here. <laughs> and then this bird. All right, so I got that. So this is what I got going on. Let's go ahead and close this out. So hopefully you guys like this video. This is my pissed off African dude right here. This is my doesn't know if he's African dude right here. And this is my something like a raptor right here. Uh, thanks for guys for watching. Darian is drawing on the iPad Pro Procreate because I suck. See you guys next time and I'm out. Peace.